So, I just woke up and I'm waiting for my friend Allie to get here and me and my mom and Allie are gonna go mushroom picking in the woods somewhere around where I live and see what's going on there. So I found something while picking mushrooms. It's a jaw something. Okay, we didn't find anything, so we moved to a different spot. Hopefully we're gonna find some mushrooms this time. So far, found nothing but spider webs and mosquitoes. But last time we were here, we found some mushrooms. Well, not this exact spot, but... Okay, these are mushrooms, just... I don't think they're edible. But holy crap, this looks cool. Look at us. Wow. Nature's freaking cool. It's a frog. There's a froggy there. <laughs> Hello, froggers. It's not edible, but look at it. I'm pretty sure that's a toadstool. Pretty sure it's poisonous. Pretty sure. Not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a bad one. Doesn't look right, like, doesn't look like an edible one. Whew, finally found some. I don't know what they're called in English. Uh, locally, we call them squirrel mushrooms or squirrels. Um, there's also a bunch of mosquitoes and stuff in there. Yeah, um, there's some more growing around the area. They look like leaves, so they're pretty hard to find. But once you find one, there's probably like a dozen more growing around. So I'm gonna look. And they're pretty good with some potatoes and butter and salt. Found some more squirrels. Um... Yeah, there's tiny ones on the ground, but I'm gonna leave them to grow bigger and reproduce because the thing is, like, mushrooms need to release spores, meaning they need to grow to maturity and then reproduce so the mushrooms don't disappear. It's very important to leave mushrooms for reproduction because, again, the mushrooms are just gonna disappear in that spot if you keep picking all of them. You need to leave some for to repopulate. Um, you can't just take everything because then it's just gonna disappear. It's not gonna grow in that spot anymore. And you have to be careful, don't pull them out with the roots because it damages the, uh, the underground part of the mushrooms. Mushrooms have like kilometers and kilometers of root systems underground. So that's also very important. So people these days, I don't know, there's been kind of a revitalization of mushroom picking. There's more trash in the forest. Why Why do people leave trash in the forest? I don't really have a garbage bag. I just have this bucket and a knife. Otherwise, I would, like, clean up. But there's been, like, a revitalization of, like, berry picking, mushroom picking. People go into the woods again. It's, uh, it's kind of nice. I remember my granddad used to pick mushrooms, and for Christmas, he used to pick them, he used to dry them. Uh, he used to make these uh, pierogi with dried mushrooms for Christmas. It was his special dish, and uh, I know, he passed away a few years ago. And last year, I kind of felt like I want, I miss it. These, these things Gramps used to do when he was still feeling well enough to do them. He would come back with baskets of mushrooms, he knew the spots, but we were stupid and none of us asked. We know the general areas of where he used to go. He knew some locals too that would, that would show him the spots, but these days we don't know, we have to find our own spots. So this is in a way, I got spider webs in my face. Ooh, froggy, there was another frog. 
These forests are full of frogs. You would never expect a forest to have frogs in it because they need water. Look at it, Hop. Look at it. <laughs> Little froggies all over the place. Uh, I think I found a bone. I keep finding... No, that's not a bone. I keep finding bones today. We found a jaw. We found like a whole, I don't know, face. Maybe half a face. I don't know. Something. But yeah, this is like... Connecting with nature is good therapy. It's like you're getting fresh air. You're getting your daily 10,000 steps in. And it's also... Well, you're getting free food, as much as you can find. This isn't much, this is not even enough for one person to eat, but... Well, you, you get what you get. Now, this is something interesting. Yeah. Now, it's tiny, and it's hard to tell, but... I don't know, I'll need to ask my mom, she's a bit better at knowing mushrooms.